Mm, time for a hearty breakfast to set me up for a day's evil doing, I think. Mm. <laughs> Brunhilde? Elmer? Otis! Where are you, you useless fools? You wretched Pazinskis, wait till I get you. You wish you'd never been born. <laughs> Don't think for a second you idle furballs can hide from me. I'm so hungry. So hungry, my stomach's about to. Explode! <laughs> Are you all right, Maestro? Talk to me! It's okay, Lapitch. I'm fine, just a teensy little teething problem. <sighs> you and your crazy inventions. Thank goodness there was nobody outside. They could have been hurt. You're not allowed to see my creations until they're finished, and especially this one. Out of my workshop, please. Now leave me alone. Hmm? I'll fix this before the uh -huh. race. Oh, what was all that noise? Hi, Lisa. Everything's okay. It's just Melchior up to his old tricks. <laughs> them for today. I almost forgot. I'll be in the workshop. Ha! <gasps> yes, this new invention of mine really is going to be a gold mine. <gasps> Did he say gold? Gold! It's a gold-making machine. And it's gonna be mine. All mine. After breakfast, of course, and I know. Just waiting at that. I don't know. Melchior, this new recipe of yours doesn't look much like food to me. What did he call it? Oh, yes, pizza. Mmm, <laughs> breakfast. i just wait till the old battle axe turns her back and then... Haha, <laughs> <laughs> one breakfast to go. Today's cross-country race, dirty rat. What? So? Did you read it? Read it? Uh, of course. But well, I think having a cross-country race is a great idea. Cross-country race? Yeah, just the thing for dimwits. Like you, Melvin. Gee, thanks, Dio. Anyway, Dio, I better run along now. Give me strength. Now, oh, where was I? Oh, yes. Stealing myself some lovely breakfast from Yana. Who needs those Pazinskis? I can cope perfectly well on my own. I'll get you for this. 
Crime doesn't pay! I'll save the sermon for someone who cares, why don't you? Now beat it, flea bags. I'm busy. I told you to beat it, flea bags! <laughs> Weird design you've done, Lisa. Hope I've got it the right way up. But you know best, I suppose. One, two. Mm. Ouch! Mm. Melvin in training? Well, wonders will never cease. Well, La Pitch. How are my new shoes coming along? Almost finished, Lisa. Can't see them ever coming into fashion, though. They're not fashion shoes, they're running shoes to wear in today's race. But hey, they could catch on. Yeah, right. <sighs> Sorry, guys, I can't wear you for the race. It wouldn't be fair for me to use magic boots in a race against my best friend. But... If you don't use your magic... I see that you managed to fix your invention in time. Of course, though I had a few teething problems. Well, let's all hope that the winner likes the prize. <laughs> So isn't it about time this race of yours got started? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our first annual cross-country race. Now, can you all line up? Lopich, you never told me that you'd entered the race. Didn't I? I must have forgot. Too busy. Oh, I get it. You're frightened about losing to me, aren't you? Is that it? Well, we can beat you any day. It's just a race, Lisa. Don't turn it into a girl-boy thing. I'm not, but this girl's gonna win. Now, now, that's enough. You can't wear those, Lapage. Well, it wouldn't be fair. Well, okay, but no magic. Uh, yes, well, that was the plan. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. All contestants must keep to the route marked out in red arrows. So that's why these stupid arrows have been set up here. And whoever crosses the finishing line first wins this magnificent prize. Huh? A prize? Some dopey tin cup, I expect. A prize which also happens to be my latest invention. It's the gold-making machine. I gotta have it. But how will I get it? Without taking part in the stupid race. <laughs> Elvin! Yo! Huh? Let me make you an offer you can't refuse. Oh! Manufactured from the highest quality components and newly tested, it will give years of trouble-free service. Cut the sales pattern. Let's get this race started. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> uh -huh. Sorry I'm late, great shoemaker. Oh, that's okay. You're just in time, Melvin. Contestants, on your marks. Get set. <laughs> you can do it, Melvin, with my help. Go! Don't say a word. You should have stuck to shoemaking. I said don't say a thing. Well, 
which way? There are no arrows. That way, I think. That's feminine intuition, I suppose. No, it's shorter. See you at my prize ceremony! This is ridiculous. This isn't cross-country. This is through it! This is a wild boar! It's time for a little magic now. Little something, I think. That dimwit should have passed this way by now. <laughs> oh! Huh. Come to me. That move. lazy good for nothing. <laughs> Melvin! <laughs> what? Aren't we supposed to be winning a race? Yes, but an athlete needs his food to you and his rest. I'm sure he does. But do you think you could possibly get back to the race right now and win that prize? Being a manager is such hard work. Shouldn't all the runners have made their way around the course by now? Perhaps you made the course too tough, Melchior. Yes, they are a bit late. Kids these days, not as fit as we were. <laughs> Out at last! Yes. Which way are we supposed to go? I could have sworn this arrow pointed that way. Maybe someone moved it. We'll just use the magic boots. 
always know the way home. I would, but they're exhausted. So which way is it? The way the arrow's pointing. I guess we better stick to the rules. Suckers. Come on, Nitwit. You're about to win my... I mean, our prize. But they're going the wrong way. Oh, yeah. That's the idea. Uh -huh. Airhead cow, move it. Hop, hop, hop. All right. Thanks, DR. Yeah. Don't stop now, or we'll lose the race. Well, we quite definitely will if we keep on going this way. Look. Well, he's going the wrong way. No, I think that we are. Someone's been fooling around with the arrows again. Melvin. No, I think I smell a rat. Come on, let's go after him. Ha ha ha, those suckers, they don't stand the ghost of it. Chance? Heartiest congratulations, Melvin. You've run a splendid race, and here's the prize. <gasps> Which is his manager, rightfully belongs to me. <laughs> What is it? It's my new invention, the pizza oven. And here's one I made earlier. Just in case your oven didn't work. Weird recipe, though. I can't see these pizza things ever catching on. Nonsense. You know, you've got to move with the times, Yana. A pizza oven? I thought it was for making gold. All that evil doing for a pizza oven. Hmm. Maybe this place is a gold mine after all. Can't you cook any faster, Melvin? We're not making enough. Enough money. So get on with it. I'm working as fast as I can, Dior. Well, it isn't fast enough. Get those delivered. Now! But Dior... Melvin, are you or are you not my cross-country race champion pizza delivery boy? I guess so. 400, 500, 600. You know, maybe there is a way to make more money. Let's just turn the heat up a little, shall we? The faster I can get these pizzas to cook, the more money there's going to be in it for yours truly. Crime pays after all. Oh! A 
few more teething problems with the pizza oven? Looks like it, Yana. Back to the drawing board. I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> My restaurant destroyed! Uh, you and your lousy machine, I'll get you for this. You just see if I don't. His restaurant? I guess he was the one who was helping Melvin. Well, it looks as though this time his dirty deeds really did blow up in his face. <laughs> <laughs>